Okay, so this uh, Panzer IV video covers putting on the second track, cover, and lower hull side. So, um, you're going to definitely want to test it. Oh, before we get started, I wanted to mention that sometimes when putting on the first one, you have trouble getting these to go down and match all the way. I had that trouble on this one. And basically what I did was I just slipped some glue, like once the other thing was once the side was dry, I saw, oh, this is far too lifted up. And so I slipped glue underneath here and then put uh, a heavy weight on it of any kind that I just used a uh, utility knife and let it dry solidly down. Um, when I did that, this part peeled away and I'm pretty sure that it was because I didn't trim this enough before installing the track cover. I just uh, sort of slipped glue between there and then held it for a couple of minutes until it was tight again and it, it went back into shape. So you can see though like it's separated at the back and stuff. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of repair on this just because I did not trim these down enough. You really want to make sure that they can just sit in place when you glue the initial piece in. So this one went way better. and. Uh, Basically what you want to do to make sure that you get these the right shape is to just trim them with a really sharp blade because sometimes like the pieces have separated or one uh, is a little bit lower than the other and then they can't come down basically at a 90 degree angle like they're supposed to and they kick these parts out of place. So when you're putting on the second side after the first side is done. You can see it's way easier to like match up the shape of the front, so that's not going to be a problem. The problem lies in that it's harder to get the uh, the hull into the right shape at the back. You can't just squeeze this down to make it into the right shape, because then look at this gap is not going to match, and that's on both sides. So what you want to do is like you can actually with this particular model. I want to match the angle at the back, remember? So I'm going to have to push this forward, which helps lift this up. And then I have to push this in to place. But I'm also going to have to watch that and make sure that's pressed down. So there's a lot to look for to make sure everything matches on both sides like you want it to. So once you're aware of what you're going to have to do, and so I'll just slip glue into the same spots I did when gluing the first side, but I want to hold it in these positions. So keep in mind where my fingers are going to have to go to make this correct. So let's put some glue on these leading edges. Now you can put glue along this leading edge. I don't really recommend it that much. I mean, if you want, it, it just makes it harder. And one more thing that you have to worry about getting in exactly the right place when it glues. So if you leave it sort of free, then you can modify it a bit later if you need to. So again, making sure the front goes into the exactly right position here. It's the most important thing. And then I was going to kick that down and this forward a bit. And you really want to make sure that this is all level. Like, so there's no overhang from the track, from the lower hull side over the hull bottom. Make sure my angles are correct back here. Make sure that's held in place. So just. Keep your eye on everything being right. And it should be a lot easier to install the second side than it was to install the first side. And so uh, we will take this blade later on and we're gonna just trim this. But right now we have to make sure everything goes into the right position and stays there. So, everything looks good. Oh, 
All right. So there, starting to get the correct shape. And so if there was glue under here, you can see how this uh, track cover is a little bit pushed, kicked up. I wouldn't be able to pull it down at all because that stuff would be in the way. So now, because it's not glued in, I can pull this down to the right angle. Same with this side. And I don't have to worry about it affecting adversely the sides, the shape of the sides. And if you get, if you start getting gaps in here that, as long as they aren't large, you can always cover them with patches or even just layers of glue will fill that in. But you definitely want to have these so they're not kicked up because that looks weird when it's all done. All right, so that gets you to the next video. So hey, if you like this one, uh, make sure to subscribe to the website so we know you're out there and uh, check out the options. You can upload uh, modifications to current templates. You can upload your own templates uh, and uh, comment and like. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.